Hi everyone, welcome. So I posted a picture of this paper bag ephemera holder in fans of my porch prints junk journal group because this is where I got these lovely papers. This is a freebie in their Facebook group and it's cherry blossoms and I just think that it's absolutely beautiful. And I had a couple of people that really um, wanted to know where I got the tutorial. It came out of my head. I promised I would do a video. So this is for you ladies, Linda and Karen. And it's a pretty simple con concept, I think. Uh, it will look different depending on which paper bags you are using. I have used three paper bags. And um, what I've done, you need to think about each of your paper bags that is um, a journal page and so this will hang on the wall it fits so much it is absolutely amazing how much um, can fit in here and yeah if you think about them as pages the way I have done my pages that I think works is my first page my base um, I've cut the bottom off my paper bag this is um, I'm calling the the gusset, the open pocket. The opposite piece to it is sealed closed. I don't want that one as a gusset. So my next one, the opposite, this one is sealed closed and then this is my open gusset. And then my middle paper bag had quite a large base so I folded that base over. Um, I don't think I've got a paper bag um, Base. I've got this one, I've cut, cut the base off, but just imagine uh, folding that over. It does create a lot of bulk this way. And then I have just opened up that piece so that has made a pocket, a little bit of a different pocket to the other side. And once this was sewn in, I used double sided tape and then folded it up to create that pocket. So that, and then I've added this one after as well. And I mean, there is, it's just um, like, you put things in there, that is a monster put things in there, put things here, put things there, there, that one in front, in front, that as well. It's yeah, seriously monster stuff. Now before you um, get all your papers on and if you want it to sort of um, not look as though your, your closure was an afterthought, the closure needs to actually be attached with its pretty papers on before this goes on. You could probably change the the way the papers are. I like the fact that my handle is on my second one and this has created another pocket. Um, you could probably do this one as your back. But when you are picking um, your, your paper bag for the back, make sure that this back piece is, is large enough. You know, if this was short, um, and this was down further, it might not hold everything um, together as, as lovely. So when it's filled, it would sort of might open too much. So that's, that's something to keep in mind with your closure. And if you're doing something like this, definitely add it first. But what I, I did was put all my papers, um, my paper bags together. I've clipped them on the bottom, I flipped it over and I've measured how much I think would I need to attach. And then I've gone, all right, I've got about a quarter inch. So I've done measure, quarter inch, and then where I wanted it to finish. That's how you do those. But I found the quarter inch I don't feel is, is good enough. So I've got another one ready to go just to sort of show you one that is not all sealed together. And um, yeah, these are just totally different uh, paper bags as well. Now... I haven't got the same um, base. I've cut the base off for my center one. And what I've done is once this is sewn in, I will double side tape and fold that and create another pocket. So we've got this one, there'll be a pocket there. We've got the gusset one here as well. This one is like a little tuck and then you can tuck something here and then you've got the gusset. And yeah, so this paper bag um, is is larger up here and 
that way and I've done a three quarter of an inch this time so yeah just make sure that back part is high enough and that's as, as high as mine will go and I'm pretty happy that it's going to hold this one in enough and yeah pretty easy to work out there's probably lots of videos on on how to do that but I just worked out my size um, covered the front did my little brad um, put a piece of cardstock and um, double-sided tape first and then some cardstock and then the paper and I've only printed this on printer paper and then I've gone so, uh, I've sewn all around I've folded it and then I've um, made sure that I've sewn on those seams because I just think that that has made it a little bit stronger and yeah so definitely closure um, I have have got you know uh, gusseted closed gusseted so the opposite of this one is going to be a closed up one and I've put a clip on there so that I know that that is one that's going to be sewn and I've done that um, with all of them and another thing with the the ones that I'm sealing the end um, instead of gluing all that down and using all that glue I don't glue it once it's all covered in its pretty paper I then go and put some ink along the spine and then I can see physically see where the um, the fold is and then I sew right the way on that fold and then I'll do my quarter inch all round and that way I'm not using a whole heap of glue it's the stitching that's holding it all together and it, this sort of it's twofold really we've got the front and the back of a paper bag and then of course the gusset part of the paper bag that's another two layers and these paper bags can be quite thick when you fold them so you and and they're not even that's another thing i'll tell you they are not even so when you fold it give it a really good um, burnish and then kind of uh, do do another bit of a, li a, a look I think before you put papers on and and then I'm like that's about 6.6.8 and to me 6.8 that might be a little bit long down there and yeah just then trim trim your stuff up before because you'll think it looks straight and be, with it being so thick uh, yeah it, it most definitely um, <laughs> won't work it'll be all skew wiffy and I don't like things that are um, skew wiffy <laughs> I mean I can see on this top one that that is is not cut straight as well so that will need to be fixed so that's just something that I like to make sure to try and get things as straight as I can even though you're starting off with something that is not <laughs> it's not meant to put you know make make, make a, a ephemera holder out of it's not it's just meant to put some groceries in um yeah and and make sure they're staggered so for example if i came along and i said look i've got these three bags um i think they might work together put your three bags down make sure your one with the handle is in the middle and then kind of go you know i think i think that sort of um, amount looks pretty good to me and yeah and then uh, put little marks on them and fold them and then don't worry too much about what the back looks like because if it's going on the wall um, you're not going to be too too worried but the back on this one I don't think looks really great so I'm going to be putting a pocket in there using um, one of the bases that I cut off and I'm going to create another pocket because I do like that layered look um, I mean it'll look okay once once that's on and decorated as well yeah that's about it i hope that covered it um make sure they're staggered think of your paper bags as actual journal pages you need some sort of closure to hold it all together um, there's probably a multitude of different closures that you could um you could try and yeah i kind of just think that it could be down this way on the desk and i can access my pieces like this um, we could probably even sew some some coffee dyed paper or you know use it as a journal and, and ephemera holder and then just hang it on the wall something a bit different isn't it but yeah just make it your own and 
that is the basic um, concept and things that I'd learned because my, my first one didn't go according to plan. I had to sew all the gussets because all of my paper bags were different colours and I could see all these different colours through and I, I, I didn't like it. Um, so if you're like me, try and pick your paper bags all the same colours. That's a little, that's another little um, tip. And my closure, I did some uh, eyelets and then having to thread the ribbon through and tie a bow and it's too fiddly and didn't work for me. So I really do like this, um, I call it a policy envelope um, closure. And I like these sort of ropey handles versus the 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 ones that have come off the other bags too so maybe if you you find a lot of these in your secondhand shops as well paper bags and um yeah just keep an eye out for some some that you you think might work for your project that is it thank you so much for joining me appreciate your company and um yeah any questions pop them below so yeah hope that was helpful linda and karen so until next time, everyone, uh, stay safe. Bye.